I need to find the best way to learn math and science. It's pretty. Skip that for now, and we'll go straight to the first option, which is follows. Now, in here, you can decide, we do first, it starts into the app, whatever channel you're setting this up for, uh, and then you'll end up with this dashboard. And just to the left-hand side here is alert box. So go ahead and click that. And now that you're there, you're into the actual menu where you can start to set up your alerts. Now, it starts in a general settings tab. Let's skip that for now, and we'll go straight to the first option, which is follows. Now, in here, you can decide, well, do you even want follower alerts or not? If you don't, then just click disabled and then save at the bottom of the screen. And now you won't get follow alerts. Some people, they get so many alerts for follows that they just rather turn it off and that's fine. In the beginning stages of your streaming career, you might want it on. Now the next option you see here gives you the various orientation formats, meaning your image will be above your text, your image will be right behind your text, so the text lays on top of it, or your image will be to the left of the text. It's up to you. You can choose how the alert comes in and out by deciding, well, does it fade in, fade out? Would I rather it zoom? Uh, and you can play with these things because you're gonna be able to test these to see what you like and what you don't like. The next is a message. And you can type in here what you want the text to say by default when the alert is triggered. The text can also animate, so you can choose which sort of animation trigger. The text can also animate, so you can choose which sort of animation style you want for the text itself. And then here is where you're gonna upload your video file or your GIF or your JPEG or whatever it is. You just literally click change media and then you can click drag and drop upload and then find the file on your system. And then once you have it, click and select. Next to that is an area for sound where you can upload a specific sound file and you can control the sound volume with this slider down here. You can also control the total alert duration. How long do you want the alert to stay on stream before it goes away? Now, if you click a checkbox here for font settings, that's where you can decide what font you want from a bunch of pre-selected ones. A lot of Google fonts are in here, so if you use those, you'll probably find them. Adjust the font size, the font weight, right, or the thickness, and then the text color, and highlight color. Now highlight color is for when you have uh, the actual individual's name as part of the alert text, then you can make that a different color. And then when you've updated everything, click save settings. And then if you scroll back up to the top here, you can actually click this test follow button to test your alert. But before you do that, you need to add it to OBS. So I'm gonna show you how to do that step now. Now you first wanna to go to this area here that says widget URL and then you can either click here to show the URL, keep in mind you might want to keep this private, or you can just click copy here, which won't reveal it and it'll just copy it to your clipboard. Now we're going to go to OBS, I'm going to show you how to add it to your actual stream. Once you're in OBS, you're going to go to the scenes where you want to add alerts and you're going to add a source and browser source is the type that you're looking for and you can call it something. You can label it alert box so that you remember that that's what it is. Click OK. And now this first field here for URL, that's where you're gonna paste the URL that you copied from Streamlabs. And then once you've pasted that, just click OK. And then once you've done that, you're gonna get this box here where your alerts will show up. So these are the boundaries and the scaling of your alerts. 
place it wherever you want in your template, and then we can go back and test it. Go back to the Streamlabs site, click test follow, and see if you like it. <laughs> One thing that's important to know is that the sound of your alerts is going to play through your desktop audio. So whatever your default speaker is, whether it's headphones or an actual speaker or computer, that is where the alert sound is going to come from. And so you have to make sure that you capture that in OBS. This is where testing before you stream comes in. It's really important to make sure that it's working before you go live. And then just keep going down the line to the subscriptions tab, donations, posts, bits, raid, merch. If you have a merch store on Streamlabs, you can even have alerts when someone buys some merch from you. Um, and there you go, test buttons for every kind of alert. Just get in there and play with the settings and keep using that test button while you're not live until you get your alert set how you like it. Remember that progress as a streamer is going to be incremental, so take your time. Don't worry about whether or not it's gonna be perfect the first time. Just set up something that you're gonna enjoy seeing when somebody supports you, and it's gonna help you remember to thank them as well. If this video was helpful, consider subscribing to my channel. No till at one point maybe he can go for a single point in the cold embrace and that'll keep some ale nice and healthy. Keep potential around that blink dagger on tiny. So as long as his link goes well, you can combine that with Skyrath Mage and Hoodwink and you have insane magical burst. I think it even kills Morphling, honestly. If you, even if you don't get him before the attribute shift, it's good enough. In fact, talking about Morphling oh, dying, <laughs> our observer couldn't even believe it. So uh, going for, yeah, a bit of a laning build here already pretty early on with those boots after the Quelling Blade and the... Uh...